Hello and welcome to this very special episode of the Demol Bell here Season 11 Recaps from Reality TV Warriors. My name is Michael Harmstone and I am your guide into this interesting day that we're going to have in, uh, in Antwerp. It's currently just after half nine in the morning and I've suffered through a hotel breakfast all over you because unlike last time we did this trip, there is going to be no drain trouble. More on that on Thursday. You can tick it off your bingo card. So the plan for today is in just under four hours, I will be at Kinepolis in Antwerp, bringing you the interviews, hopefully with the final three, watching the finale early, and with a bit of luck, seeing that Bindles is wrong, and that me and Logan have got the correct mole when Lancelot is unmasked. I will talk to you very soon. See you in a bit. So it is 10.29am, aka three hours before I need to be at Kinepolis. And I'm writing a wrong from last time I was here, because four years ago, as a lot of you will probably know, I had a bit of a uh, an issue with the trains, and it meant that instead of getting in two hours early as I was meant to, I got in about half an hour late, and ended up having to sprint through Antwerp, meet up with Logan at my hotel, dump my stuff, and then go straight to Kinepolis with him. This time, I'm here a day early. Deliver. So, I'm going to actually have a look around Antwerp, because last time I spent maybe... 18 hours in Antwerp, and then had to run for the train to the airport again. This time I'm here for about 40 hours. I've not actually seen any of the sights other than giving the middle finger to the uh, hotel marked last time I was here in, in honour of Amazing Race 30. So I'm going to go take some nice pictures, and actually pretend I'm a tourist for, let's be honest, about an hour and a half, and then I'll have to come back. One thing I did forget to mention when I did the intro is, tomorrow morning is going to be very interesting, because... I am on a plane back to Manchester at about five past ten tomorrow morning, which means I'm going to be leaving the hotel probably about quarter past six, which obviously, if you remember anything from last time, we did the Antwerp visit, and Logan being a bad influence, and I was going to the after party, Logan didn't leave my hotel room until about three. So, that kind of can't happen again this year. I've got to be, I've got to be sensible, I think. Um, as sensible as I ever get, obviously. But we'll see how that uh, that goes. God knows what time the last second's going to be on this. See you in a bit. So it's five past one, and as you may have seen on Instagram, I've now started the long trek to Kinepolis. It is, I'll be honest, pretty grim weather today. Especially as I'm an idiot who didn't bring his coat from his parents' house when he moved to Armstrong Heights on Monday. So I'm just in a, a hoodie and the shirt that I chose. It's going to be an adventure. It's the exact same route that Logan and I were walking four years ago, which is a bit of a nostalgia trip. And I was also thinking that if I do get to go to the after party today, which I have no idea until I walk into that press room in half an hour or so, every single contestant in there we have now talked about. Because last time when Logan and I did do the after party after Vietnam, it was two seasons that we'd covered. Obviously we'd seen four, but it was only two that we'd actually covered. Now it's eight. So, the number of people who could be pissed off with me for my jokes is quadrupled since the last time I was here. So this could be very fun. So it's just after 25 to 4, and we found out that not only was I wrong, but Logan was wrong, and Bindles was wrong, and this is the worst performance we have ever had on a mole season, and it's quite hilariously bad, because for the first time I can say it, and I'm going to spoil it now, Tommy is the mole, and Lancelot won. And I'm still not entirely sure how. I've just uh, been there for the press conference, and uh, yeah, I'm still just as confused as I was, I think. <laughs> I'll try and uh, speak to them all next. Let's see what we can find. It's 4.48, and I think I'm basically the only person in the room who's not had a chance to speak to the final three yet. Whether that happens is a whole other story, because I think they've probably got to disappear in about ten minutes. But I shall try. If not, I got jail. That's all that matters. And Toast is officially aware of the English language community. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah, I came prepared because I had these for 2020 okay. when obviously we were hoping to find oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Never happened. It's been four years. Actually. It has. Yeah, it's yeah. four. I was thinking this earlier. It's four years since I've been here, and I walked the. I've stayed in the exact same hotel I was staying with with Logan, and. I walk the exact same route. It's really weird. I mean, it's good to talk to you because it will be in better quality than last time, which was some kind of shitty Skype connection. Yeah. Uh, well, the, 
the first time was a shitty Skype oh, yeah. connection. The second time wasn't too bad. Okay, um, and then uh, I'm mixing them up. But uh, the, the, one of these times was really sometimes uh, uh, uncomprehensible. But yeah, it might be my Lancelot English. Uh, yeah, I was going to say language. That's called. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say we we sort of understand that it is your third language. So it's <laughs> no <laughs> it's worries. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but there is a bit of uh, compensation for that at least. All right. So how does it feel to know you fooled both of us this year? And well, Bindles, who who filled in for Logan at the start of the year as well. I am very sorry, um, <laughs> but I'm also glad, of course, yeah. because um, uh, I haven't heard I have heard parts of it. I, mean, I heard some of the podcasts. Yeah. I haven't heard all of it, but I there was some 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 bantering and some uh, self. Where no some some cockiness on yeah. your part. And yeah, there was a little bit of cockiness from me as always. Yes, well, this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Pride comes before a fall. Yes. But, um, yeah, I mean, last time we were sat in this room, you were behind me and laughed when I, I shouted fuck when Elizabeth was revealed. As oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's ingrained Sorry, in my yeah, memory. Yeah. And then, yeah, you've managed to fool all three of us this year. And I yeah, think... It's uh, kind of second nature to me to yeah, mock people who uh, are wrong. But a large part of the English language community as well, as uh, as well, I think, were wrong on, on comfort. Oh, well. yeah, I can imagine. Uh, a lot of people are. Oh, well, in Belgium, two-thirds are yeah. wrong. It which was is kind of it was pretty much equal this week, it's wasn't it? It's very, very equal. I think it hasn't been as equal as this in the no, last couple I, of years. No, I mean, we've been keeping an eye on it because yeah. obviously it's it's been yeah. posted on Instagram and so many people have been wrong this year. I, yeah. I sort of can't wait for people to find out this evening and, and yeah, realise how I'm wrong they've all been. I'm very reactions as well, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, the English language community, I think I'm mostly on Lancelot, as was I and as was uh-huh. Logan, but we'll see. I don't think many people were, uh, were suspecting Kami. No? no. Well, then they were wrong. Yeah. And you were wrong in, in, in suspecting Lancelot because would the mole ever leave 5,000 euros in a bunker? Well, yeah. But but also, I mean, it's a lot of people were on toast as well. and He did some weird things as well. Yeah. yeah sure. w- would yeah. a lot of his yeah. tactics have, have been done by no, mole? No, it's I a don't think so. Puzzle, like, yeah. But it's, it's doable. You'll see next week yeah. that she has done quite a lot and that uh, if you stack it all up, it's pretty obvious that yeah. she's the one. Did I hear a rumour that it was meant to be Russia a few years ago? Oh, yes, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, prior to going to um, to uh, Germany, yeah. we were kind of in the naive hope that Corona would be, would or COVID would be yeah. a very uh, fleeting passing thing, yeah. which it wasn't. Uh, so as soon as the second lockdown began, we had to cancel the Russia plans yeah. because we wanted to cross as, as uh, few borders as possible. It um, and so Germany it, it was, but some of it, some of the theming of Russia then went into Germany. Yeah, with the, K- the um, yeah, KGP integrity will be yeah, rewarded and all that sort of stuff. And, uh, we translated to Germany, yeah. and it ended up to be a great, great season. So uh, I don't think we're going to be back there anytime soon. Yeah, because Russia is a very cursed location for Mole as well. In the uh, the Netherlands tried to film there, and then uh, the jet got shut down. So oh, they had to move yeah. to Sri Lanka at the last second. So, see, that's why. But I don't think we'll ever go back there. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a little bit of a no-go zone and, right And now. then it was part of uh, their twist to start with five countries as well. Russia oh, was one was of them, great, and then, actually, uh, yeah. then yeah. they flew to Georgia. Yeah. But um, That was a great start. It, a great it, start. it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah. W- it was weird when we did it for historians, because I don't think the twist is as good if you know about it ahead. Oh, no, time. of course not, no. It works when you're in, it works in when it's complete yeah. blindness, but... Uh, it worked fantastically on the, yeah. on the contestants. It, yeah. it, it was yeah. a wonderful way to do it. I was also thinking earlier that last time we were here, there were only two seasons we'd covered. It's now eight, because we've done them all. Have you done eight? Yeah. Wow. So I've done eight as well. We're yeah. getting old, man. And any, anyone we encounter, or anyone I encounter today, I'd be like, I've probably told a very naughty joke about you in the past few years. Oops. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> almost certainly. Uh, was, they, well, most of our no, all of all of them, they love it because yeah. they have all a very. Uh, they, they can be self-deprecating, yeah, uh, <laughs> like the best of us. So don't worry. It's, yeah, it, it's just that realization as I was walking up here, going, "Oh shit, I've probably told some horrible jokes about these people." Yeah, they don't mind. <laughs> it, no, I don't mind as well. I mean, yeah. you can, you can, you can. Oh, I know. The, me I mean, the path of that stuff. I it do it all happens. the time in the show as well. Yeah, I laugh at their faces oh, quite constantly. So <laughs> it's part of the show. So uh, yeah, yeah. What do you think the secret is? Eight years in, because I mean, Netflix Mole tried to copy a lot of your stuff last year, and it was awful. Well, there was a, a very American sauce over it, which which made it. I mean, to us, it's it's um, we have ten people and their imperfections, and we love the imperfections and we laugh at the imperfections. But the show is imperfect, inherently imperfect. I think American shows tend to not be that human, 
and uh, I didn't like the uh, idea of uh, stopping an episode before an elimination, which is uh, <laughs> not a nice way to uh, to do it. But you know, to us, it's it's the compliment that they copied a lot of our challenges because it means that people You're doing something those right. challenges. Yeah. We're doing something right. We must be doing something right. Um, other than that, it's it's still such a, a joy to do this yeah. because we we us, I'm still surrounded with very very talented people and together we uh, we make a fantastic team and yeah. we still have a lot of ideas left oh good uh, sometimes I feel drained <laughs> but then you know an hour afterwards yeah. you get some yeah. silly idea uh, and then it grows to be some silly challenge in some silly episode uh, and, uh, yeah I mean the, the common phrase that we use in the English language community is this fucking show and this fucking show this no, fucking it's, show it's a good one just when we yeah. watch it especially with a lot of the stuff this season where it's very specific references and that sort of stuff like well, the speed challenge was just oh perfect. yeah yeah we had great fun designing the, the posters and yeah. uh, uh. <laughs> some of those there's one in particular I'm thinking of that was a little bit near the line the I touched your oh, kids Walter in, Dennis yeah, yeah I touched your kids my kid a, a legal way, yeah. Way. <laughs> Yeah, well, <laughs> it's my favorite actually. It's my favorite. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite because for the ones that that that, that catch it because it's, yeah. it's not on screen for a very long time, it's it's this great nod and and it, that's okay. I mean, the the idiocies we put in the newspaper. Yeah, uh, also, I, also. I, I, I mean, mean, the best thing about that is the fact that you then did the second version where it's just like, no, there's not a clue here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just well, knowing that people are going to be looking for it's it. It's a little bit of trolling on our side. Yeah. But most of it, it's 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 love that we send out to the community because oh, the 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 silliness and and the the idiot jokes are kind of a counterbalance to all the seriousness and the the very. It's a very intense show yeah. at the best of times and very mysterious. So you have to counteract it, counterbalance with it with some with lightness. Yeah, yeah. With the smartest dumbest show on television. <laughs> Yeah, probably, which I take as the best compliment yeah. ever. I, I mean, it's it's the only way we can describe it, I think. It's just I hope because so, it yeah. Is. yeah it's, it's just, it's our favourite show every year. There's, well, there's thank a, you. It's no secret that we love doing it, and I mean, I wouldn't travel hundreds of miles otherwise. No, no, it's it's amazing you're here, and, and you know, I was telling, because we have new people that come into to the show every year yeah. that... that, that um, uh, become a part of our team and some other people do some some different shows and um not everyone knows that there's a very or, or quite substantial english yeah, speaking huge. community which mm. which is amazing actually because i get some messages in from the philippines from australia from from the usa uh which is cool mm. i love it because it's not a given for a little obscure belgian show to be not broadcast but at least watched all over the world yeah it's a great compliment uh, i mean Netflix mall proved there is the. I would the have loved to make that. You should have made that. Yeah, no, my English shit. isn't good enough because I, I like the host though. She was good. She was great. Yeah, but she they was just good. Didn't use her. No, a little, which is which would be a good idea in my case as well, <laughs> because I, I, I'm, I stand in the way your, all the time. Your but your English is far better than than the, than Flemish, so. Probably yes, yes, uh, but maybe at least as a consultant, like yeah. to you know, you should, laugh at this guy. Come you on, should have been. Yeah, make like, fun of them. Yeah, I mean. A lot of it was very soulless. And I, yes, I'm, very serious. I'm presuming yes. you didn't see much of my complaints about it, because I commented on everything the production posted, just basically going, oh, okay. look at Belgium. You were trolling them. Do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> they know how to do it. Because well, it, it, so it's, much of it just was terrible. <laughs> well, it speaks of your love for mm. this show. And I, th I, I agree. Uh, the only way to make a show like this to make the mole is the way we do it yeah th they just tried yeah. to be a bit too serious with yeah. it they they didn't play into the, uh, the fun very little do. chance that i ever ever take myself seriously no. so it's uh, okay we're cool and like 90 percent of the challenges they borrowed off you yeah but that's just, that's great that's cool we're just pale imitations especially the integrity will be oh, those are your words nice yeah i mean um, but, but i can say it you can't yeah that's <laughs> it that's true yeah without being a dick i can't yeah i mean be a dick as much as you want i've, <laughs> yeah. I've I'm a dick all the time. Fuck it, so we're the best. Yep. Yeah, exactly. You are. <laughs> so you're coming back next year? Yes, we are. Good. Yes, yes. The plans are already uh, started. When I, well, I'm a, if I'm drained, then it's <laughs> regarding to that because yeah. right now I know of some. I know. I know the location. I know some of the theming yeah. uh, and some general ideas. But uh, I, I, it's impossible for my brain to wrap myself around specific challenges right yeah. now. That is uh, saturated for a while. So. Uh, I'm going to have a short vacation with my wife Good and uh, enjoy some sunshine here in Belgium as well, I hope. And then <laughs> Not today. <laughs> no, not today, no. And then very soon I'll be doing another uh, show. And uh, and after that I'm going to 
dive in the pool again, awesome. uh, and I'll be very, very glad to. Yeah, well, you know we'll be back as much as I hope as so. As long yeah. as you keep putting this show, oh, I'll be back. I hope so. Yeah. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for uh, putting out uh, all these podcasts. No, I, mean, it's, I it's don't mind. No, no, it's it's great for us that uh, people, the the, I mean, a lot of shows people just watch, you know. But mm. when you have a quite close knit community, be it Dutch speaking or English speaking. That's that's quite exceptional, and and we are thankful for that because yeah. it's not a given. No, it's it's just a wonderful show. <laughs> Thanks. How does it feel to finally be able to say you're the mole? <laughs> it's a wonderful feeling. It's bittersweet because um, I really enjoyed my role. Yeah. But now there's no risks of uh, giving it away, so it's like whew, it's like a relief. I, I was saying to Jill earlier, you've managed to fool everyone because there is, I don't know whether you know this, there's a sizable English language community who watch this show. Really? Yeah. I me, wasn't aware. Me especially. I mean, my Canadian friend Logan usually comes as well, but he's he's not able to this year. But nobody was on to you. Really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's I, really cool to hear, actually. Yeah. I, I mean, I was looking at our suspicions week on week. I think total we had you about five times in all seven weeks. Which wow. Is enough, okay. Which is very yeah. impressive. No one's ever managed to do that much. I'm very excited this evening to see... The internet just blow up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing to hear. That's like um, yeah, cherry on top of the, I don't know how you say it in English. <laughs> cherry on the top of the cake. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I'm doing this to fool everyone. I'm yeah. so glad that I, I achieved my goal. Yeah. Was it the first time you'd applied? or? Yes, this yes. was the first time. Oh, wow. Time. First yeah. time first. <laughs> yes. Were, were you excited to know you were going to America and to Arizona? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I've never been to that side of America I've yeah. been to New York once um, and then um, of course I knew where we were going yeah. the, the other candidates had, had no idea and I started googling and I was like oh my god it's beautiful over mm. there and the weather is like okay uh, yeah it wasn't too bad for you it apart, wasn't from, too bad, apart no. from the snow yeah, at that, the start I didn't think <laughs> anyone was expecting snow no. but uh, no I was very it's excited about I, the location I looked during episode one it was the only time they had snow in the entire month exactly and day. sometimes it was really hot so yeah, uh, yeah that was a big surprise did you get to see the Grand Canyon afterwards or, or not? No, no. There were, uh, our whole program was jam-packed and we, yeah. we didn't get any opportunities. That's, that's a shame. So <laughs> we'll have to go back. No yeah, I, <laughs> I've been to Arizona and it was I was there this time uh, really? 10 years ago, actually. Yeah, it oh, was, cool. Um, so you went to lovely. Grand Canyon, you walked through? Yeah, yeah. yeah everywhere, cool. uh, everywhere like that. What, did you, uh, what was your favourite assignment? Um, I was really excited um, beforehand about the Red X. Yeah. It was like my own personal little mission, <laughs> and I was like, I'm not only going to sabotage, but in the game, but it would be really cool to sabotage before the game even yeah. starts. So uh, that was, I was really excited about that. Uh, and do it really publicly as well. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> it was quite risky. <laughs> yeah. Was there a candidate you were most worried about discovering you? Um, I knew Lancelot, and that's why he's like the ultimate winner. He's yeah. like super analytical. He knows what he's talking about. He talks a lot, but he knows exactly what he's yeah. saying and why he's saying it. So that was one I had to be careful about. But everyone is so intelligent, so smart. So mm. I was always like, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were always on guard. <laughs> always on guard, yeah. yeah. But how did you react to finding out about Matteo as well? Um, I knew before we left yeah. he was going to be there we, and I was like, excited? oh my god, <laughs> yeah. super excited because he's a wonderful guy and without knowing him you feel like he could be just one of us. He's yeah. so cool and so chill. So down to earth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's why I wasn't like super nervous about acting as if I didn't know he was him because he really blends in and that's, yeah, yeah. that's why he was a perfect <laughs> candidate. Yeah. What was the closest you think you came to being discovered without actually being discovered? Um, there was uh, one time, like with the eggs, I yeah. was so, so afraid <laughs> because it was quite in your face yeah. at the time I did it. So there I was like really stressed out. And then the moment I fell off the slack line because yeah. I fell on purpose, I was not too sure at all. <laughs> <laughs> and I did that in front of three candidates. So those are the yeah. moments where, where I was like really in your face that I came back to the group and I was like, oh my God, yeah. keep a poker face yeah. because maybe there are three people on Maybe someone's you. watching you, yeah. yeah. Were, you, were you annoyed that nobody took Pasfragen or Bryce Sterling? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 this never happened. No, it doesn't. I, it was so amazing because I was like, I can do whatever I want. If no one ever wants to take things yeah. that's going to cost us money, then um, they block you. But it's also like another proof of how amazing everyone is. Everyone's like, we don't care. We're against the mole. And yeah. it just made my, my task that more that challenging. More yeah. So, yeah, for me, it was more challenging. Uh, yeah. 
but I like the challenge. <laughs> <laughs> and Gilles said earlier you didn't know you were going to get the red screen with the DeLorean. No, no, I, I had no idea. They yeah. explained the game to me and I was like, okay, but this is a game where we can actually lose money. Mm. So it's also interesting for me to get a spot into the car and um, they said no but it has to stay honest so mm. every candidate who wants to take the risk and go all in on one candidate has to be able to come back yeah and that's why i couldn't go for a zero score and i think six was like okay i could get in i might not get in if someone was bold enough to do it yeah so that's how we that's how i played it it's I think that was the point where everyone stopped suspecting you, which was, it was a brilliant move as a result of that. I think that was the aim as yeah. well. Yeah, it's risky because you're doing something where, again, everyone's watching you while mm. you're doing it. You're taking money straight out of the pot, mm. so people could start suspecting you, but yeah, yeah luckily <laughs> that was the case <laughs> for everyone. Yeah. I think everyone wants you now, so thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> so it's just after 10 past 6. The red carpet portion of the evening begins in uh, about 20 minutes, and um, I'm hiding the secret because, as I've just said on Instagram, I know who the mall is, and no one else does at the moment. Which is really fun walking around, just nodding every time, every time the question "It's come for the mall" comes up, because I know the answer is yes, even if no one else does. Final update, I think, for this episode at least, um, given that it's 9.50. Comfort is the mall, Lancelot won, and there were a lot of shocked people in Zal 8. <laughs> um, I'm now beginning the long trek back to my hotel room to go pack up all my stuff, accompanied by the freebie that absolutely there is no way in hell I'm going to be able to get home. But I'll take a picture and, uh, and post it, because it is a pretty badass freebie and I'll at least try and get the glass back with me if nothing else thank you to everyone who was involved in this crazy day thank you to Lisa and Jill and everyone at Playfair and just as the mall will return next year so will we assuming that I've not burnt all of my bridges today this is our man in Antwerp signing off I suppose with a holy shit I'm three for three on being wrong on moles when I go to the final. Maybe I'll be right next year. I doubt it, though. Laters.